beading brigade this is monica and i am doing some pumpkin earrings with some really cute boo tags that say you've been booed so i've got some that are decorated but i'm going to be using some really cute pumpkin beads that i got and i had such fun picking these out i got these on amazon now they are in a bunch of different colors these are the ones I got. There was a, you know, I'm, my brand colors are pink and blue. So I had to get the pink and blue. And there are actually two different colors of pink. One that's a little bit deeper and then one that's more pastel. And then that color of blue that I love so much in my Sparkle by Monica colors. I had some white. I know that white pumpkins and teal pumpkins were very popular for a time. So these two will be neat. And then I got a um, yellow and this kind of sage green color pumpkin. And then the traditional orange. So look at all of that. I tried to make myself a little miniature pumpkin patch outside one day. I'll put a picture in there for you. It didn't really pan out because the grass was so tall in spots. And then it was sparse in the others. So I don't know. You tell me what you think. But it's so cute. And I love these because they're little 3D pumpkins. You see that little pumpkin right there? It's so cute because it's little stem. has got curly cues and that silver. Very cute little pumpkin. I love it. So I've got, what is that? Three, four, five, six, seven colors of pumpkins, guys. Isn't that cute? So you can use these in all sorts of different ways for my spooky sparkles. But this, I wanted to just make several different colors of earrings with these little pumpkin charms. And I've already got one pair made over here. And that's going to be at my Sparkle by Monica channel for my Potomac beads. But these little pumpkins are just expressly pumpkins I got at Amazon. And I'm super excited to make some earrings for my boo. You've been booed. <laughs> but I put some little stickles, glittery stickles, and some of my pop-up paint in that pastel pink. And then I'm just going to tie this onto their little gifts I've made of the earrings. And I've got some chocolate treats, guys. I'm going to give some little... Russell Stover pumpkins to some of my friends. So this is pumpkin with caramel in it. And this is a pumpkin shape with marshmallow in it. And mm, 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 don't I want to eat both of those right now? <laughs> I'm not supposed to. It's October. I'm supposed to be doing good. But you know, it's the holidays and I just can't. Oh well. So let's get spooktacular, guys, by making some little pumpkin earrings. For my You've Been Boo tags for this Spooky Sparkles collab. So make sure that you check out everyone's Spooky Sparkles video that's part of the Spooky Sparkles 2023 collab that's hosted by my main channel over at Sparkle by Monica. And then I have Beating Brigade, Crafty Gal ASMR, and then my friend Ginger at Ginger Kitty ASMR is uh, participating. She does, she does my um, annual collab every year in October. And then we have Miss Stacy at the Midnight Maker. We've got Terry, and she's got two channels this time. She's the Tapping Flamingo, like you're used to seeing. And then she's also got a new channel called Be Creative. And then I have two new participants. I lost a couple of people this year that normally participate because they just they're so busy. And I gained two new people, so that was awesome. They are actual paper crafters. Jenny at Craft Creations, and I think it's like Craft Creations for you. And then we also have Sandy, and she is like a digital creator that makes a bunch of scrapbooking papers and things, and it's just beautiful work. She did the Pink Spells Halloween, and here's a little peek of that from my friend Rhonda that I won my giveaway from. She has a channel called Decorate Your Life. So they are part of that with us, along with all of my little channels, and I hope you enjoy that. Make sure you check it out. There will be a playlist, and I'll make sure to link that. So I'm going to use two of these ATC cards made in the pink Bells Halloween paper by Decorate Your Life. These cards were made and given to me by Rhonda at Junk Journal Diva in the giveaway that I just won. I have a video posted for that, but I'm going to use my Easy Earring Cards Punch and punch some little holes right here in the center of that card so I can now use that for an earring card. And I have made a bunch of spooky sparkle earrings, guys. Okay, so there's the spider on my board. Ooh. These are the beautiful earrings that I made with uh, Potomac beads. 
components and these cute little three-day pumpkins those pumpkins were not with the potomac beads box i had those separately in my stash these were the original earrings that i made over here with the wire wrapping then i did a different color of pumpkin with some various beads from my stash some cool looking beads that i i thought reminded me of charlie brown like the great pumpkin <laughs> Now, the earrings that you see up top here, they've got a different color pumpkin, but they're the same earrings. So these earrings were actually inspired by the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown because of these lampwork glass beads here. I don't know. They just look like they were Charlie Brown's shirt. And then, um, because I wanted to do the fall vibe and pumpkins, you know, Great Pumpkin, uh, hey. So, I thought it looked perfect, but I can't make up my mind if I like the orange pumpkin or if I like the sage green pumpkin. So, which one do you like? I put one of each so I could kind of live with it for a little while and try to make up my mind, but it's difficult. I'm also very sleep deprived, so <laughs> I can't make great decisions when I'm sleep deprived. Now, the ones down here on the bottom are a different version of those. I just thought these were fun and nice and bright, and they still remind me of Charlie Brown. All of these earrings here in the center of my board are for the Beating Brigade video. These Charlie Brown-esque earrings are going to be in the Sparkle by Monica video because I've used some of the components from Potomac beads, like these leaves, these rings up here, the antique brass rings, and some of the little beads. So I'm really happy with how they, that turned out. I'm going to use some of my Crystal Sparkle to sparkle up some of these ATC cards that I got from Rhonda. And then I'm going to be divvying up the sets of earrings that I have. So these papers are so cute. Um, the theme, the pastel Halloween, I love it. And I'm just hitting some white. I could pull out all of my other stuff. But... I'm not going to. I'm just going to do that right there. and That'll work. The Crystal Sparkle. And this is like a, a Scribble Pop. So it's like a 3D paint when it dries. I think probably my favorite are these blue. But I love them all. So you let me know below in the comments what was your favorite. And I hope that you all have a spooktacular Halloween. I've really enjoyed doing the Spooky Sparkles 2023 collab. If you are interested in the Spooky Sparkles collab, I do this every October. Sometimes it fluctuates as to which Saturday towards the end of October it will be, but it's never during Halloween week. Be on the lookout. I always send out a video invitation on my channel in, in uh, September usually. And that gives you plenty of time to RSVP and it gives you all the instructions and stuff like that. So if you're interested, then keep that in mind. And I'd love to have you again for next year. It'll be here before we know it. <laughs> Thank you again to all the gals that were participating for 2023. I'm so thankful for you ladies and you all are super talented. And it's always a, a blast to see what all of the different crafts are going to be in this collab. And a lot are surprising. So this is going to be um, some additional paper crafting this year. And boy, it, from what I've already seen of their other paper crafting, it's going to be crazy good. So I hope you enjoy it. Have a spooktacular Halloween, y'all. Bye.